Hello there guys. Right, so just a quick one today. Just gonna do a small tutorial on how you can actually install Aralgraph. Because there are some people out there actually who are quite unfamiliar with the workings of mods and basically it all came down to YouTube asked me to. So yeah, just gonna make a quick tutorial on how to install Aralgraph for those of you guys new to mod packs. Okay, so first thing you guys need to know is that Aralcraft is of course a mod pack and these mod packs are exclusive to Java. So you just need to have a look what you got. Just open up your launcher, have a look here. If you see Minecraft Java and you see you can play, well done, you've got Minecraft Java. This, this here, this is Bedrock. So I'm not biased, but <coughs> Java, <coughs> Java's better. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, yeah, definitely get Java. And uh, that is how we will go about installing this. So once we've done this, well done, that part is done. Now we just go about and install the Curse Forge launcher. That is pretty easy. We go to Mr. Google, we type in Curse Forge launcher, then you should see two options there. One will be from the Curse Forge websites directly, the other one should be from Overwolf down there. This is because they've kind of merged, I believe. Curse Forge and Overwolf, they're kind of the same thing now. Um, when you are installing this Curse Forge launcher, it should actually, I believe, ask you to install Overwolf if you haven't got that installed yet. So just go ahead and do that. Install the launcher, install Overwolf, bada boom, bada bing, both done. That's that finished. Soon as you've done that, your launcher should look like this. This will be your Curse Forge launcher. This will be blank for you guys, um, so you'll have nothing here. But as soon as you click on Browse Mod Packs, you'll see loads of eye candy suddenly pop up. This will be all the different mod packs that you can install, obviously. So try not to get lost, just focus, just type in here RL Craft. And of course, it'll be this one here. And just click, it won't say play for you, it'll just say install. Click install, and then just wait for it to be done. Once it's done, it'll pop up here. And you'll be able to click play here or here if you really wish to but uh, yeah just go ahead and click play once you click play it'll throw you back to the minecraft launcher which will look like this and then from there just click play then it will start loading it will take a while it's quite a big mod pack rl craft so then from there as soon as you are basically in game you'll just need to load it up and see how it runs um yeah, uh, by the way, I do recommend that you guys have a computer that has at least 8 gigs of RAM. 16 is what I would recommend. But uh, yeah, it's a big old mod pack and yours will look different to mine. I'm running shaders and a texture pack. So for those of you guys new to this, uh, just ignore all this. Um, if you have lag, there is a bunch of settings that optimizes the game that you guys can adjust. So see how it runs. If you got lag, low FPS, that sort of thing. I've made a video on it, so yeah. Shameless plug, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll just leave it in the video description, but see how it goes. If you got lag and all that kind of type of stuff, yeah, just check it out. Apart from this, this is you done. Like you're in game, well done, and uh, yeah, let the uh, let the misery begin. <laughs> now I'm kidding. It's really fun, but uh, yeah, there will be loads of emotions. There will be joy. There will be tears. There will be a lot of rage. But yeah. It's an awesome mod pack, and uh, yeah, that is why it's so popular, of course. <laughs> cool. That is me done, guys. Um, happy Arl Crafting, and this is Zerger saying goodbye. Cheers, guys. Aww.